Hello, Pradom 4, grade 4 students. <laughs> Welcome to our health class. Okay, uh, this is Rolly here. Let's review pages 29 to 35 for our lesson today. Uh, let's review first before that one, okay? So we did last time about muscular system and uh, it's a wonderful study, okay? Functions of the muscles, a lot of them and how we maintain the muscles, maintenance of the muscles and also we study about different parts of the muscles and uh, you are required to do this homework I believe you did very well, congratulations for doing it okay, and I believe you finished it and then for our study today is on this pages 29 to 35 about the bones and joint system all right okay so bones the importance of bones bones connected by muscles ligaments and tendons are the determinants of the shape of our bodies so uh, they help to support the structure of the body and make our organs strong remember okay yeah Without the bones, how can you stand up? You cannot stand up strongly. And so, functions of the bones. Number one, enable mobility. Mobility means movement, moving, as well as support for the body, as I said. Number two, store minerals such as calcium, which contributes to healthy blood cells, liver, and proper work of central nervous system, our brain. The system of our brain all right number three protect various organs of the body can you imagine if you don't have bones how can your organs be protected and number four produce red and white blood cells from the bone marrow you you need a red blood cells for oxygen you know for strength okay without the white blood cells you don't have any protection Without the red blood cells, you don't have enough oxygen, you get weak, all right? That is very important, all right? And so, how to keep your bones healthy and strong? Number one, don't lift or carry objects that are too heavy. Or try not to carry things with, our, with one hand. You, you need to use two hands. Number two. Lift objects properly by bending your knees to squat position before lifting the load, okay? Do not bend your back, all right? That, that hurts. So you bend your knees and then you lift instead of bending your back because if you bend your back, you're putting the weight on your back. Put the weight on your knees, not on your back, okay? So do not attempt to lift by bending forward because it may cause pain or back injury. And when you have back injury, ay, 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 that will be a problem for your whole life. So in here, number one, how to keep your bones healthy and strong. Number two, and let's go to number three. Make healthy food choices by consuming high calcium and phosphorus foods such as milk, small fishes and dry nuts you can also find calcium in soy you know isolates is isobla okay uh yes uh, soy soy soya soya soy products calcium all right but look this calciums uh, look at here the food here exercise strengths strengthen bones but look this calcium is nothing without exercise number four regularly and vitamin and maintain i should say a healthy body weight do you know why calcium without vitamin d3 it cannot be absorbed that's why you need to exercise under the heat of the sun the best time is 10 a.m to 2 p.m anytime at least 15 to 30 minutes okay that's the best time so calcium will be absorbed in your body through vitamin D from the sun. Well, cheese and uh, eggs and other things, they also have vitamin D that can help absorb the calcium, all right? 
So calcium and phosphorus nourish bones. But I, what I do in my age now, I'm turning 50 next month, I exercise under the heat of the sun to get vitamin D3. And it's the best vitamin for absorbing of the calcium. Here, number two, joints. All right? Look, look, look. Okay, what is in here? Okay, let's talk about joints. So the importance of joints. Joints are where two bones meet. Okay, they connect two bones or more with connected tissues and tyros. Okay, they make skeletons flexible. Without them, movement would not be possible. Joints are classified by the range of movement. All right, as you can see here. The examples of the movable joints are synovial joints, our shoulder joint, and thigh joints. The fixed joints or fibrous joints include sutures. You know sutures like that connect, you know? It's just like the head skull here, the suture. Which are fibrous joints found in the skull bones. The last type of joint is a cartilaginous joint, which are slightly movable. For example, spinal joint. So there is synovial joints. There is fibrous joints or fibrous joints. There is cartilaginous joints. You know, cartilaginous joints in between in your example, you know, uh, between two arm joint and uh, the one below. There is in between the, the cartilage. So cartilaginous joint, you know, when you joint two bones in between, here's cartilaginous joint that is very important so you can move. And slightly movable, yes. And spinal joint is on your back, okay? The joint there in spine, your back. All right, now you look at the picture on the right here. We have here arm joint and leg joint. You see that in between there? The arrow where the arrow is, here is cartilage, cartilaginous joint. Cartilaginous joint. And so look, there's a disease called arthritis. An informal way of referring to joint pain or joint disease as you grow older, you know. There are over 100 types of arthritis. <laughs> Many. However, the most well-known one is osteoarthritis. Osteo means bone. It means arthritis of the bones, disease of the bones, osteoarthritis. It normally occurs when cautioning surface on the end of bones. What happens? Wears away. It means like in your here arm joint, okay, and even your leg joint in between there. The caution, the one that cautions it, you know, when it moves, it wears away. Now you have pain. Usually at the age of 50, 60, ah, painful. I, I begin to feel it. It's painful. So over time, it means as you grow older, joints can lose strength and pain may become chronic. Kids, enjoy now that you're young because when you got older, <laughs> you become 60, it's painful. Travel if you can travel, but not this COVID-19 pandemic. You know, do as you can, but do not damage your body. Because it's not painful yet at your age, you will enjoy a lot. When you grow 60, 70, oh, it's painful to move around. You don't enjoy, all right? So functions of joints allow, number one, allow the body to move freely in different directions. Number two, connect bones and form out body shape. Number three, balance the body in upright position so you will walk uprightly in a balanced way. Number four, Help carry body weight. Can you imagine? How can you stand up? How can you carry your body without bones? It's very important. So number one here, how, how you here? Joints help us move freely, right? But look, number one, avoid sitting with poor posture. Sitting like this? No, not good. Sit up. Sit up. Instead of sitting on a very low chair or squatting for too long, all right? Do not squat for too long. Do not sit for too long. So in here, number number two, eat five main groups to receive all the nutrients sufficiently. 
especially the vegetables that will help you high and enough vitamins for your body you know five groups right we have the carbohydrates you have the proteins we have the vitamins and minerals fruits and vegetables and you have some a little bit of sweets but more on nuts and you know beans all right okay at least five groups a little bit of fat not too much and number three exercise regularly swimming or jogging if your knees hurt because you're getting older you can swim maybe jog a little bit but not too much now i don't jog heavily now i just walk a bit but just light um lesser than when i was younger i would rather go to banks and beach and chonbers to swim all right number four keep body in shape and that's very important okay well now tips the skeleton of an adult human consists of 206 bones how many bones 206 bones the human skeleton can be divided into the actual skeleton and the appendicular skeleton what is actual skeleton it includes number one vertebral column like your vertebrate there your spinal column also known as the backbone back bones the bone of your back or the spinal column number two is called appendicular skeleton includes arms and legs bones remember axial axial or axial bones and appendicular bones all right now what will you do here read ratafum's situation it's an exercise activity here i want you to do this and answer the questions like reading comprehension right ratafum likes to climb the tree in front of the house one day he fell down from the tree and broke his arm out he cannot write and is not allowed to go to school until his arm is healed. All right. So question 1.1. 1. 1. How did Rutherford's accident affect his bones and joints? You read again. You can answer that. I will not answer it for you because you don't learn. If you do it, you can learn. Number 1.2. What will happen if the bones and joints are injured? <gasps> Oh, injured. What will happen? Right? Maybe pain. Maybe he cannot walk well. Maybe he cannot stand up. You're right in there. Right? Okay. Number two here. Put a tick in the star sign that shows the functions of bones and joints. Start here. Look at the here. It start from here. Then you go to where? Then here, there, and then there. And it goes back there. Provide a framework for the attachment of muscles and other tissues. You sure? Digest food. Are you sure? Protect internal organs from injury. Are you sure? Deliver blood throughout the body. You sure? Produce calcium. Or connect bones and form the shape of the body. Or produce cells. Look at that one here. If you look at the last one here. After deliver blood through the body, what's the next? Is it produce blood cells of hematopoiesis hema means blood topoiesis all right blood cells or help balancing the body is it enable body movements and produce bile <laughs> it's a finish line you sure okay i want you to do that one and then also number three propose two ways to maintain and keep the joints and bones to work effectively how will you do that ways to maintain joints and backs and bones to work effectively you can go back to the lesson you can formulate this one when doing it often what's the result so on the left side in the here what are the things you need to do to for bones to work effectively and if you do it what is the result example number one okay example if you stand up with your knees bent not your back the result if you're doing it you will not break your back okay so there's the one another example maybe you have to sit up erect not you know stoop down for a long time and the result it will save you from aching your your back well there's a lot of ways to do it all right 
You can do your own. Choose one of the systems. Number four, muscular means muscle or bones and joint systems. Then, what you're going to do, explain the importance and the maintenance of the system. If you choose muscular system, you explain the importance of the muscular system and how to maintain your muscles. If you choose the bones and uh, joint system, you explain the importance of bones and how to maintain your bones strong. All right? Well, a little bit easy. Yeah, I think it's easy. You can do it. <laughs> and then, choose number five. The statement that best describes the human organ systems and development. <coughs> Both muscular and bones and joint systems are important to body movements. Maintaining them properly will result a healthy body that is able to move and perform activities. And so both muscles and bones and joint systems have roles in maintaining a healthy body frame. Maintaining them properly will enable a person to move with ease in every direction. You know some people, they move gracefully, right? Because they maintain their body and their muscles and their joints. But if you don't maintain, you see some people, they walk like this. One is higher above the other, right? Because they don't maintain. Well, some of them had disease, sickness. Or we don't, you don't know, okay? So I want you to post your answer below. For now, bye-bye and see you next time.